in this video let's uh, deep dive into web worker implementation so um, how you are going to implement web worker with a react app is not so the syntax for web worker is we need to define a web worker in this form format so new worker and then uh, yeah like this we need to mention the name of the worker file like this now it's uh, fine uh, like um, if you are using some bundler like webpack we can have one more entry point for our worker file and then we can proceed and uh, it will give its own output and then we can probably uh, put a path of the file uh, here and it should work uh, that's that should work uh, but uh, it's a bit inconvenient so let's say in our project we have uh, like 50 or 100 web worker for some reason uh, it's, it's not likely uh, it, it may be possible also I'm not sure so let's say we have a what a few web workers and then we need to point to each one of them or maybe like uh, in the directory itself we need, like in the uh, webpack configuration itself like entry point we need to make an array of entry point not an array an object actually we need to make an object of entry points and then maybe we need to provide an entire directory i'm not sure how it's going to work maybe it, it's possible definitely it's possible and uh, it's going to output file so it's not impossible uh, it's definitely possible but uh, i didn't try that approach so the easier approach which i found was okay so we need to come back to this thing uh, okay, I'm going to show you first some common example which you I see in the internet a lot so let's say I am on this app.js uh, file and I start this so yarn dev so by the way this project is available on github and this is the uh, URL I'll put, uh, I'll put the URL in the description of the video uh and this uh, project is made from uh my own scaffold so it's a pretty lightweight scaffold uh, i don't like to use the uh, create react app scaffold uh, scaffolding project uh, because it um it adds a lot of uh dependency which i don't really need all the time because sometimes when i'm creating smaller uh, demo applications then i really don't need a uh, like 50 or 100 dependencies and it's just going to bloat my um, this space so uh, I'm the console now so let's come back here and by the way this uh, has a uh, hot reloading enabled for using webpack a dev server so we just make the change and it should work so we have app.js right now let's do something let's uh, okay let me save everything first because I think I made some changes so let's save it quickly okay so once this is done now let's do something let's uh, import uh, the prime number function okay now what was that all prime is prime let's say it's prime very important is prime function now uh, in the render method let's do something like this so console.log is prime dot to string so when we do that uh, let's see what we can find in the console so basically uh, we can get the entire function uh, we can get the entire function string basically right so this is interesting so the uh, observation here is like we have the entire function string here right now if we uh, remove the first part which is up to this uh, and the last part which is this then we can potentially get uh, the remaining content here and this remaining content if this is the web worker then we can get just the worker code and not the initial part uh, including the brace and all that so uh, let's try uh, doing this so let's see let's see str is equal to something 
for some reason my system is lagging a bit now not sure why oh shit why is it rejected oh got it mm. okay I need, to, I need to do this for <coughs> first because <coughs> otherwise it might cause some issues so let me just pull this first and then let's push it I'm using uh, ZSH by the way so if you're wondering now let's see get uh, stash apply nope okay util slash prime and I want this prime so and here string is equal to s prime dot to string and console log str dot substring substring what um, str dot caret character at the position of mm, str dot index of index of what index of this brace let's see what you are getting as output uh, let's refresh yep so uh, the first part is eliminated so what we need is index of this plus one mm, yeah that should do yep so now let's do one more thing str dot last index of and the close brace so, uh, and minus one I guess yep so if you can see it's just showing us the function body now uh, we don't have uh, the initial brace uh, starting brace and the closing brace so this is good so this is one way of creating of a um, yeah on uh, one way of creating web worker so uh, the idea is like uh, we expose a function and we remove the function starting uh, points starting uh, characters and let's say this we call this stripped function is equal to this thing and uh, yeah so uh, we are having stripped function now now what we can do is uh, we can create a blob from this so uh, const blob is equal to new blob mm. first uh, uh, argument is an array so this is going to be stripped function and then it's going to be uh, encoding uh, actually I don't remember it's, it's gonna be text slash JavaScript but mm, I think I had it somewhere let's see you know yeah, yeah I already had it basically so yeah it's gonna okay it's gonna be application slash, uh, slash JavaScript okay so let's have this okay so we are uh, let's see if I, if, I'm, if I'm doing the same thing here okay so code dot index of something last index of something fine and creating the blob in this way and creating a workup script using url dot create or create object url fine mm, let's see so we have this and let's create the worker script fine and in this class index of we don't need minus one because it's going to ignore this anyway so now let's print the URL console.log worker script let's see the output It's still compiling so let's give it a second or two mm, it's done 
Uh, let's see. Okay, so we have this URL now. Now we can use uh, we can create a worker using this URL using the syntax I showed just now. So go like this. Const worker is equal to new worker and pass in the worker script. So this is going to create a worker for us, but this is not ideal, I think, in my opinion, because um, uh, if, if you observe right, um, this function prime, we are converting is prime. We are converting this to string method. Now, if is prime has some dependencies, like uh, it's going to reference some other function, or it's going to reference some um, package, like um, some node module then uh, just converting it to string and using this uh, as a blob this is not going to help us because uh, like it's not uh, in the function which uh, is prime is using they're not resolved yet so that actually doesn't work uh, like this out of the box so one approach definitely is like if we have a uh, files like uh, a worker file which is like this prime dot worker and uh, as i discussed previously also like in the webpack config we put an entry f entry point to this file and then create a separate file uh, altogether and that definitely works uh, else uh, for the other method which i used uh, is i think that's a pretty clean approach and that's better so i definitely recommend that so that is uh, using a webpack plugin so let's go to package json and check the plugin which I used. So here I'm using this plugin worker loader. Okay, this is not a plugin, it's a loader. So worker loader. So uh, with uh, what worker loader helps us do is like uh, after we install worker loader, if we go to our webpack config, my system is getting a bit slow. I don't know why uh, it's getting slow. I think uh, my disk space is pretty much used up okay so once we are in uh, webpack config if you check here uh, in the module rules section I have this part I have this part worker or C chase so what is checking is is checking uh, if any file is there uh, with the extension dot worker dot C chase C chase or MJS or just JS so <coughs> it's going to check any file which has worker dot JS format it's going to use this loader and a baby loader of course and it's then it's going to give the output okay mm. yeah so it's going to give the output after that now um yes the advantage of this approach is like uh, we can create the worker as a normal file just as i created here and just have whatever dependencies i want here and this can be from node models as well and just have the on message and whatever and in your main code so the code which is uh, with web worker let's see in the main code we can just pull in the worker file in this format input worker from so and so and um, uh, and then just uh, call the worker and s get started so i think this is a pretty um, cleaner approach and it's a better approach uh, for creating workers uh, using the react code base because then it automatically resolves dependencies and is I think it's better It's more manageable and then like um, in the SRC folder. We can always create a new folder called uh, workers and move our prime worker in this So as you can see this is much more manageable now So I, I would definitely uh, recommend this approach but there's one caveat uh, there uh, that is um, i'm going to show here so it comes in the uh, build logs so if you check here it says that it is not cacheable so i'm not exactly sure why this is saying that and why it is not cacheable so uh, i would have to uh, uh, go deeper in this and understand this but then i think this is a pretty good approach and 
it is going to work for most situations and also this is the recommended approach uh, like I, I don't see uh, like web worker is a less discussed topic in general like there are less resources out there but um, this was definitely uh, a recommended approach uh, stated in some places so uh, I would uh, recommend this but uh, yeah this is one caveat which we need to look into so I will, uh, I will get back on this topic uh, once I have more update so yeah uh, that is uh, all for this video